ServiceNow. The login to the ServiceNow application is located at https colon forward slash forward slash utah dot service dash now dot com. Use your UMD logon credentials to access the system. Email address and password. Navigation and service now. Depending on which UI user interface you have running, you may or may not see the icons in the upper left corner of the screen. You can change your interface by clicking on the Switch UI option in the upper right corner of the screen. Turn the Application Navigator on or off. Turn the System Banner on or off. Split the screen vertically or horizontally for a combined list and form view. Create and manage bookmarks. Bookmarks are created by dragging a link to the left edge. Bookmarks and pane-based UI help. On the right side of the banner is where you can log out, switch back to your home page, or print. Application Navigator. Use the type filter text to quickly access applications. Typing incident shows you how the list will shorten. The A's will adjust the font size on your screen. Refresh the list. Collapse or expand all the header lists below by clicking on this box. Select options by clicking on any item under the heading on the list. Collapse or expand the header lists by clicking on the chevrons. Items under the self-service heading apply to the person logged into the system. Items under service desk are for your group. Items under incident apply to general settings. Self-service home page. Set your preferred refresh time for the screen. You will only see items in some of these areas if you have active assignments for you or your group. The center of the home page displays five main areas. My active SLAs, incidents that are breached are highlighted in red, warning incidents are highlighted in yellow. My work, incidents that are assigned to you. News, displays information about down systems or information you will want to review. Quick links, links to helpful sites. My groups, unassigned incidents. Incidents assigned to your groups, but not assigned to any individual technician. To open a ticket, click on any underlined incident number in any of the sections. Right clicking on an underlined incident number in the My Groups Unassigned Incidents will assign the incident to yourself. Service Catalog. You have access to Create a New Incident, Firewall Request, Fleet Gas Card Incident, VPN Client Services Access. Quick Links. A fast way for you to link to other applications or services. Knowledge is under construction. Incidents shows incidents opened for you. Watched incidents, incidents that have been put on your watch list for future reference. You can add an incident to your watch list by selecting an open incident, add yourself, and update. To remove a watched incident, select watched incidents, the incident number, then to remove yourself, Highlight your name, delete, and update. My requests. Open IT purchase requests by you. Requested items. All IT purchase requests by you. Watch requested items. These are purchase requests for future reference. My profile. Displays your name, location, 
phone number, etc. Related links Notification preferences You can subscribe and unsubscribe to notifications. Notifications are for primary email. To add a second email or SMS notification, select the New Device button. Fill in the necessary information. To subscribe to additional notifications, click on the green plus mark circle at the top of the listing. Click on the magnifying glass icon to search for available notifications. Notifications can be searched by text or name. This list has been shortened to include only notifications about incident. Service Desk Incidents Displays all active incidents. Knowledge Under construction. My work Shows open incidents assigned to the user. My group's work Shows open incidents assigned to all groups the user is a member of. My approvals Under construction. SLAs My work Shows SLA status for your incidents that are in an active state. My group's work shows the SLA status for your group's incidents that are in an active state.